None of this matters if you don't want it. Your body can survive for a little bit without oxygen. What's up, brew crew? It's Kale, your brew captain, and today I'm gonna show you how to chug a beer like I do in all my videos. All right, so first things first, most important thing you need to know when you're chugging a beer is you have to have a beer. So I'm gonna be doing Miller High Life. Uh, it's kind of one of my go-to cheap beers that I have here. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the tops. And no secrets here. All right, so got my high life so i'm going to show you two different ways one is with a pint glass and one is straight from the bottle you're going to see a whole bunch of videos telling you all these methods about your epiglottis and uh, opening your mouth and letting it flow down your throat the thing about chugging a beer is it's really really easy once you know how to do it so stay tuned because i'm going to be showing you how to do each one and what the real secret is when it comes to chugging a beer without the experience all right so the first step when you're chugging a beer really an important part is how you pour the beer if y'all are interested in knowing how to pour a beer the proper way because it will affect when you're chugging uh, make sure you check out up here i got a link to a video on how to pour beer so make sure you check that one out but we're going to go ahead and pour our beer Got a nice little head on there. <clears throat> All right. So one of the biggest things to remember when you're chugging a beer is the way that you're breathing. You have to make sure that you're not storing all of that air inside your lungs because if you stole all the air inside your lungs, your body wants to expel it. It doesn't want that bad air. So you need to make sure that you take a couple deep breaths, let it all out, and then chug it. <clears throat> you wanna swallow it right when it hits the back of your throat and then just keep on going. So it's gonna look a little something like this. Do the burp. Oh. All right, so that burp that's coming out is all that carbonation that's fizzed up in your stomach. If you don't pour your beer right, you're gonna get a lot more burp in, it might come back up. So it's very, very important. Pour your beer right, breathe right, take your breath afterwards so that you can finish the beer. Also, because you haven't breathed in a while, you're gonna wanna finish that beer. The biggest thing with all of this though, you have to want it. None of this matters if you don't want it. If you've ever played sports, you gotta want it. You gotta wanna chug that beer and get it down. So don't wimp out. Get it down, do what you gotta do, breathe out, keep it in. When you're chugging out of a bottle, it looks completely different. So with this, I recommend doing the exact opposite. When you're drinking from a pint glass, let all of your air out. When you're drinking from a bottle, breathe in and breathe out through your nose when you're drinking the bottle. So it's gonna be a reverse effect. Breathe out, breathe in. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this is gonna look. <coughs> That's how you do it. When you're breathing from a bottle, you're breathing out through your nose. When you're breathing from a pint glass, you don't breathe at all. So very, very different features. Anybody that tells you, hold your lips open, uh, that's fantastic if you can swallow 12 ounces of beer uh, in a couple of seconds, but if you're not experienced, that's the way to do it. Take a deep breath in, breathe out through your nose. So like subscribe make sure you check out the other videos how to pour a beer all my other reviews where i chug a beer in every single video stay savvy brew crew see you next time <laughs>